We have one of the team members from Sandswept Studios. They're the people creating The Dead Linger, a very interesting game that just got funded on Kickstarter. So who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Dana Churchill, and I am the community manager and producer for Sandswept. So what's that mean? Basically, uh, the producer role is I make sure the entire team is getting everything ready on time, we're on schedule, we're on budget, and things of that nature. And community manager, I just help manage the community, take care of Twitter and Facebook, and help answer questions on the forums as much as possible. The Dead Linger is a zombie-based game, but why zombies and why now? Well, the whole idea is that there hasn't been a real zombie survival game out there. You know, there are other zombie games that are just run and gun, you know, a lot of mutated zombies just kill them as fast as they can. Hordes of zombies coming to you. But there really hasn't been a game where you are trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse. And that's really what we're trying to do. You can just, however you would survive the zombie apocalypse, that's how you would play this game. So what do you like about the zombie genre? What captures it for you? I like the horror of it. I like to be scared, as weird as that sounds. I love scary movies. I just think it's fun to scare the crap out of yourself, like playing amnesia. (laughs) What makes The Dead Linger unique? Like I was saying, there really hasn't been a zombie game about just surviving, an open world game at that. And, you know, a lot of people have always wanted that. You know, we've gotten so many people coming to us and saying, this is the game I've been dying for for years, and you have finally answered my prayers. And so... Just giving our fans and giving people a survival game that they want to play. The fact that there isn't an open world zombie survival game really makes us unique. Even though, you know, a lot of people have been saying, that seems like something a AAA company should make. Are you guys really able to do this? Obviously, we can. Anybody can do anything. So it's an open world sandbox game. I mean, 25,000 kilometers big. Oof. Is it kind of choose your own adventure? Is there any ending or quests? There isn't. Um, there's not an ending right now, and there are no goals to the game, no quests or anything like that. Basically, the only goals and quests that you have are ones that you come up with yourself. So if your goal is to find other people and just survive together, you can play with some of your friends and survive together. If your goal is to kill as many zombies as you want, or you can, then you could just go ahead and do that. So there are no goals, no storyline, no ending. What would you say are some inspirations, video games, books, otherwise, for the dead linger? I know the biggest inspiration for my boss, The Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. He read that a while ago, and that's really where he got a lot of his ideas and a lot of his inspiration for creating The Dead Linger. Did y'all look at any games to compare it to? We've looked at Dead Island for, you know, just some ideas of things not to do or to improve on, as well as, you know, Left 4 Dead, things we don't want. Mutated zombies, tons of zombies running towards you, just a running gun type game. How does the zombie virus work if you get infected in the game? If you get bit or infected, you will die. No matter what, you will die. And then you will respawn later, you know, you'll be fine, and but your corpse will be reanimated so then you'll see yourself as a zombie walking around um we will add some hardcore mode kind of like in diablo 2 if you die you die that's it so that's also planned how would you describe zombies in the dead linger slow medium fast most of the zombies that you'll see will most likely be normal and we're not going to try to have too many slow or fast to make it unbalanced or seem like they're mutated or anything like that But you'll be able to tell, you know, the slow zombies will be slow and not as receptive to your actions if you make any noise or flash any lights or anything. And the fast zombies will be sprinting after you pretty fast and will be very receptive to if you make any noise or anything like that. So, Running zombies? Maybe. I would die. (laughs) Moving on from my imminent death in the zombie apocalypse, how will your first game be different from The Dead Linger? Well, our first game, Detour, was a RTS fun kind of game where you try to move um, trucks across, I guess, a war zone, you could say. You know, you played against between one and three other players and tried to prevent their trucks from getting across. The Dead Linger is going to be completely different. It's zombies. It's an open world. It's first person. It's going to be massive. You know, it's a huge world. You can have your own server. You could play with anybody you want online. You could play by yourself if you'd like. So it's really, really different from Detour. um, But we did learn a lot of things to help us make the dead linger better. 
So will the Deadlinger be getting content updates as time goes by? We're actually going to do um, probably bi-weekly patch updates. Once the alpha comes out, we'll do that just to get more content in the game. I know also in the future, we are going to accept user-generated content, models, and things of that sort as well. And that should be around when the alpha releases. We'll start accepting that as well. When do you think the final release will be? Kind of like how Minecraft, they came out with the alpha and then it's going to be the beta, then the game. It's kind of what we're going to do. We could have the alpha for two months, a year, two years, you know, until we get to the beta. And then we'll have the beta for a while until we get to the game. Does Sandswept have anything planned after the Deadlinger? I know that we have some things in mind, but we are not ready to share those yet. We're really focusing on the Deadlinger because it could be years until our actual ending copy. It goes through alpha and beta and then the game is here. So it could take a really long time. Production-wise, what's changed since Kickstarter? Yeah, well, now that we have our lead programmer full-time, everything can go much faster. He was kind of the heart and soul since we're building our engine from the ground up. He was really the meat and potatoes at the moment, making sure everything was right. He had to get everything in. And so now that he is full-time, he can work twice as fast as he has before. So we've been really pumping things out so fast, and that's really sped things up. But the three to six month time frame is looking pretty accurate for an alpha. So still. Yeah. What about a beta? That we're not sure of. (laughs) We're still just going to focus on the alpha as of right now. Sandswept just finished their Kickstarter campaign. But why Kickstarter? And why now? Well, we really wanted to kind of push this off of the ground. We've been in development for about six months now, and our lead programmer was only working part-time. At the rate that we were going, we wouldn't be able to get even an alpha out, a playable alpha out, to our fans in the amount of time that we would have really liked and that the fans would have really liked. So we really kind of wanted to turn to Kickstarter to really just push us off the ground, get us started, and it really turned out to be really successful like way way more successful than we thought so yeah the dead linger made its goal by over what two and a half times things must be crazy for you now after the kickstarter's done oh yeah definitely um we've had so many new people registering and so many people giving suggestions and asking questions it's been really great since releasing the kickstarter surveys we've had a huge amount of people registering on the forums. It's been really cool, especially with all the support that we've gotten. Any weird suggestions, maybe? Oh zombie my gosh. Cows. Actually, we have had some people suggest zombie cows and zombie bulls, which we might have in the future. Were you ever worried you weren't going to get the funding? Oh, I don't think we were ever worried that we weren't going to get the funding. Um, even if we didn't get the funding, at least it would have gotten the word out, which would have been good in its own way. We never really thought like that. I guess we all just thought we were all really positive and knew that we would get the support that we needed. So Sandswept went to Kickstarter to get the Deadlinger funded. How did that work? Normally, you should have already been working on the project. That kind of helps if you have something to show or talk about, at least. And you submit like a proposal, I guess you could say, to Kickstarter. Basically fill out all the forms, submit a video, some information about your game, if you're going to make a game. And then once you get approved, it's just kind of thrown out there. You just wait for the public to see it. What was the team's reactions to all the donations? It's it's just really, I don't know, it just makes you feel so happy inside to know that so many people are so supportive and would basically give their money to a game that they don't know. They don't know if it would do as well. I mean, we know, obviously. So um, it was really great to see. And everybody on the team has been really even extra motivated since the Kickstarter has been going on. Every day we're talking, wow, it's gotten to 60%. And now it's just like, oh, it ended at 258%. I can't believe that. It's just, it's been really great and really motivating for the entire team. Being one of the companies, what do you think of the Kickstarter trend that's going on right now to fund new video games? I'm I'm really excited for this, actually. I, I feel like this will be the trend for a while. You know, trends come and go. Um, it'll have its steam, no pun intended, for a while. Um, I think it's a really good idea, and I really support it, and 
I definitely support any game company that's going to Kickstarter to get funding. Any other thoughts when it comes to small or young gaming studios using Kickstarter? It's a really good idea to kind of help them get their foot, um, you know, get their foot in the door, kind of help them lift off the ground and kind of have the same opportunities that we did. You know, great way to get funding if they need it because some game companies, either they're too small or, you know, they just really need the funding to get a really important person on their team that they need or something like that. So I definitely think it's a good idea. And I've noticed, you know, a lot of game companies have been doing it and some are successful, most are, and they're really successful and some aren't successful or they're scams, which is unfortunate. But, you know, uh, people just kind of have to have their faith. What went into the decision for the prices with the Kickstarter tiers and the game? We actually added some in there along the way. I know a lot of games or game companies on Kickstarter went with the $15 reward tier for a copy of their game. But we decided on the $25 price point because we know that the price of the game will be more expensive later on. So we we wanted to give people that were going to back our game and play the alpha at the beginning a good incentive to go ahead and get it now. They're kind of being rewarded for helping us out so early on. And then just the other rewards. If you pledge $100, of course we're going to try and put you in the game. So they'll get something small like graffiti or a food item named after them. And then we've had a couple really awesome $2,000 backers who will get their likeness in the game, which is pretty cool. Is there any way we can find out more information about the Deadlinger and Sandswept and maybe get involved? Yes. If you would like to find out more info um, about us or The Deadlinger, you can go to sandswept.net or thedeadlinger.com. Another good way to see little secret things like screenshots is to follow us on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at F is for Femi. Well, that's how people pronounce Femi. So F is for Fem. Um, Jeff Keen, our design director at Jeff Keen. And Richard Keen, our lead programmer. I don't know his Twitter. You'll If you could link that. Well, Dana, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Yes, thank you for having me. Before you go, the zombie apocalypse happens right now in the studio. What are you going to do? Gather a lot of food and melee weapons and hide. And (laughs) I would hide probably for a while. Where? Ooh. Come on, it's zombies. Ooh. See here, this is different. See, I haven't thought about a zombie outbreak on campus. I would probably just hide in my house. I have all my things there. Deadlinger sounds awesome, like a weird combination of zombies and The Sims. I like it. I'll be excited to see what Sandswept does in the future, too.